Three, two, one, go. Oh, what happened there? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we'll be unboxing a new box. And this is set to rival the likes of like Mipo V4S. We did a video on this, but in today's video, we're going to set them side by side. Bisbo Aurora and Mipo V4S. And we'll see which bot is better for you. So first, let's get to unbox the Bisbo Aurora first. So Bisbo Aurora is around 500, uh, 499 US dollars. So it is uh, on the same category as the Wago 2S Max and also the Mipo V4S. So Beastbot is famous for their Beastbot Viper, but they released another budget one, Beastbot Aurora, which is cheaper. So here it is. It looks like this. But first, let's take a look at what's inside the box first. So because this is a budget bot, nothing special with the packaging. It's very simple, very plain. So we'll move this aside and let's focus on the bot. Okay, here is Beastbot Aurora. As you can see here, you can notice the wheels here, a special wheel. So we'll focus more on this later. But let's see the, uh, the design for now. So on the top, we have a plain black design. Very simple looking, very clean here. And on the bottom side, we also have a plain black design here. So this is the enclosure for the battery and this is the enclosure for the main board. And as you can see, the motor it is using is hub motors. So Beastbot Viper uses uh, belt driven motors, but this one is using hub motor. So that is why it is cheaper. And the wheels that it is using is like a honeycomb wheels or cloud wheels. But I think this is made by Beastbot. It looks pretty special here. So we'll test these wheels if it works well on rough road or not. Okay, so this is the remote. I think this bot has smart turn on. Let's check. Yep, this bot turn on automatically when you turn on with this remote. So that's pretty nice. And it have uh, four speed mode. So one, two, three, and four. Oh, pretty powerful there. Uh, silent hard motors. Now, belt driven motors is always more powerful than hard motors. But hard motors are usually cheaper and hard motor is very quiet. Okay, so we've taken a look at the design. Now let's talk about the specs on the Beastbot Aurora because this has some nice spec for the price. So the Beastbot Aurora is 499 US dollars. So this bot is using 260 watt hour 12S3P battery and the marketed range on this thing is 21 to 27 kilometers. So we can guess it is around 25 kilometers of range. And for the motors, it is using a 1000 watt dual hub motors and that is marketed to go up to 48 km an hour so this part is pretty fast and it uses a 12S Hoverwing ESC so Hoverwing ESC is known to be super smooth and 12S should give the bot extra power that you need for the wheels it uses a 105mm wheels like cloud wheels or honeycomb wheels so these wheels is supposed to help in terms of uh, handling rough road scenario so in today's video we'll be testing this bot riding through rough road condition so that's it this is the beast bot aurora for 499 us dollars this bot has some pretty good spec and is using a special wheel so in today's video i'll be giving my honest riding impression on this thing and also bonus point for this video we'll be comparing it to mipo v4s As you can see here it looks pretty similar right it's using hard motors it is also using pretty much the same kind of wheels but it is, it is different and also this bot is also around 500 us dollars so we'll compare them the power how the ride feels like and which one is better for you so let's go let's start with the beast bot aurora first i'll be giving you my first impression on it and then we'll move on to the mipo v4s and then we'll compare them side by side together and we'll make a conclusion on which bot is better so let's go Okay guys, so, whoa, whoa, my first impression was the acceleration is pretty powerful. Okay, let's talk about the deck first. So the deck is okay, but it will be better if it had some concave. So this one doesn't have that concave so that you can, uh, you can move, your feet can move around in places. So if you have that concave, you, you can lock your feet there so that it will be more comfortable in riding the board. So this is on mode 1 and on mode 1 
This already has some decent power. So let's move, move on to mode 2 now. So this is mode 2. Whoa, this board is quite powerful. It has the torque because this is a 12S Hobbywing ESC. And also, as you can notice here, we're surfing through some rough road condition. It does fine. You can still feel the road vibrations, but it is better with these wheels on, this 105 uh, hybrid wheel. You can see it is a hybrid wheel. So the trucks is also pretty good here. As you can see here, you can cough pretty easily. Let's do some sharp turn here. Let's go right. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, okay, not bad. Not bad on the maneuverability. But this board is very smooth. Now compared to Mipo V4S, Mipo V4S have some like punchy acceleration. But this one is super smooth, so it is great for big. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Be careful of, what do we call that? Mud? Eh, not mud. Uh, I don't know what it, this is called. But in Malay, it's called Lumpok. Eh, Lumut, Lumut sila. Okay, so back to what I'm saying, this board is super smooth in terms of like acceleration and also braking. Let's move on to mode 3 now. Assess the power a little bit. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, very smooth in terms of acceleration. Oh. Okay, you still feel when riding through rough road condition, but it helps a lot. If you compare it to like normal uh, standard wheels. So there's some brakes here. No problem. Let's go through grass if it has the top. Oh, it has the top. The grass is a bit wet today. <laughs> Our cameraman is left behind. He's riding the Mipo V4S. But that's maybe some rider limitation there. <laughs> okay, so let's stress the maneuverability a little bit. Oh, you can squeeze in here. No problem. The truck is pretty good, pretty stable at speed and pretty good in terms of maneuverability. Okay, let's move on to mode number 4 now. Oh, whoa, we have some punch on the mode 4. Oh, so it is quite strong. Okay. Woo! So not bad on the truck's maneuverability. You can go to some tight corners. Okay, so overall, this board is very good. It pretty much nails everything on a budget board. Everything that you want on a budget board, except for the deck. So the deck is neither that flexy and neither that concave. So usually you either choose one, whether you choose concave or you choose flexiness. But this one is not that flexible. And also it doesn't really have the concave that you will like. Okay, so let's do some brake tests. Let's go on speed. Okay, that's full brake. I engage the full brake. Not that strong. Yeah, I, I wish that it have some stronger braking because the acceleration is strong. But that is full brake. Uh, so that's with Hobbywing ESC, you can actually engage full brake. It's very smooth. But if you're intermediate or you're a professional rider, you will want more braking power as you want to stop really quickly. Okay, so my first impression on this board is like this very smooth. Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3 is very, very smooth. You can accelerate and brake uh, without a problem. On Mode 4, it is quite powerful, but the braking still remains very smooth. And you can just like jam the full braking without any concern. Uh, the deck, however, is not that great because you do not have the concave, uh, concave and also the deck is not that flexible. So if you take a look at this Mipo V4S deck here. So Mipo V4S is also not that flexible, but at least you have some concave here. So what this concave does is that it lock your feet in place so that you won't slip. As you can see here, I'm pushing and I am not slipping. So let's move them closer. Okay, so without the concave, if you push, you will slip. With the concave, if you push, your feet is locked in place. So, I like the, this deck better, but this one is super smooth in terms of acceleration and control that it will be very good for beginners. 
Okay guys, so before we move to the outside wall, I would like to show the control on the Mipo, Mipo V4S a little bit and I would like to show the trucks. So let's see if we can do sharp turn with these uh, trucks on the Mipo V4S. So let's go. Okay, we are on the Mipo V4S now. Okay, the deck felt nicer because it has the concave and also it felt lower to the ground a little bit. But let's check, but let's take a look at the control and the trucks. So let's see which one is better. Okay, on rough road, they are pretty similar. They absorb road vibrations pretty well. But let's test the control now. Oh, why does this feel a little bit weak? Let's change to mode 3 and mode 4. So this one is using 500 something watt motors, while the Aurora is using 1000 watt motors and a 12S uh, battery and ESC. So that one is supposed to be stronger. So let's test the power. Oh yeah, the Aurora is definitely more powerful. Oh, I thought that the Mipo V4 RS is more powerful, but... Oh, the Mipo V4 RS has some punchy acceleration, but towards the end, I can feel that the Aurora is more powerful. Oh, I can feel that the Mipo V4 has some more punchiness to it, but towards the end of the throttle, I can feel that Aurora is more powerful. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. Full speed here on the Mipo V4S. Okay. Oh, okay. Have some power. Okay, let's test the cornering now. Ah, uh, oh, I can see the winner here. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit to turn with this thing. Oh, I think the Aurora trucks is a little bit better than this. But let's test some carving now. Oh, this one actually felt tighter. Yeah. This one felt more to this, to the tight side. Wow, the Aurora is pretty loose. Oh, when navigating to grass also, I think the Beast Bot Aurora felt more stronger. I have more torque. Oh, this is a good place to test this two bot here because we have the rough road condition. Uh, riding on grass and also navigating through tight corners here. Let's see if we can make it on this spot. A uh, little bit. Oh, okay. So this, this truck setting is a bit tight. So when navigating through this kind of area, I will give extra point to the beast spot because the truck is more maneuverable. But this one is like more stable. Okay guys, so I decided to do some uh, race here, so both on mode 4 uh, Mode 4 on Mipo V4S and also mode 4 on Aurora So we'll test which one have better acceleration powers Because I am a little bit confused So we count 3, 2, 1 and then go, okay? Uh, 3, 2, 1, go, full throttle Whoa! So it looks like the Aurora is more powerful Okay, brake, brake, brake Oh, okay, interesting. So that one, if you notice, it has some like at the start, but eventually the Mipo Aurora is like more powerful because of the 12S battery. This is 10S, so lower voltage. And also because of the motor wattage. So this 1000 watt, well, that is around 550, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So very interesting there. Okay, so to make it fair, let's test me on V4 V4S and a friend Danish here on the Aurora. So let's see uh, which one is more powerful. I'm a bit scared of the Mipo V4S acceleration, but let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> okay, break, break, break. Okay, so we're totally beaten on the acceleration power. Don't jump. So I thought that this one is more powerful, but that one is like, oh, interesting. Okay, maybe let's go a little bit on the real world scenario on the Bisport Aurora. And we'll wrap this up real quick and we'll compare which one is better in which category. So let's go. So let's go. This is a, ooh, okay, big pothole there. And also let's just jump some grass a little bit here. 
Oh, awful road condition. Let's go to some a little bit of water puddle here. Oh, okay, this is quite big. Slowly, 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 so that you do not submerge the battery completely. Because this board is not waterproof. Okay, guys, let's try to hit full speed on this thing. We are more four now. Oh, this is very fast, guys. We are catching up to the motorcycle here. Whoa, 48 km an hour. That's 48 km an hour right there. Not bad. Not bad on the stability. Wow, we actually got 48 on that. Wow, and the braking is good too. Wow. Oh, okay, the braking is uh, needs some more strength, but it is very smooth. Okay, guys, so that's it. 48 km an hour on this thing. That's very impressive. Super smooth as well. Quite stable too. Um, and also the range on this thing marketed to go up to 25 km, 21 to 27 km. We just take the average one to around 25 km. So this board actually pack more value than Mipo V4S at around the same price. So this is very interesting. But let's not get carried away. Let us compare them side by side in a conclusion. Let's go. Okay guys, now let's wrap this up real quick. So the Beastboard Aurora is a very impressive budget board for the price. It offers some great value in it, good top speed, a decent range and very smooth acceleration and braking with the Hobbywing ESC. Now during my test, the ride felt very smooth and much smoother compared to the Mipo V4S. At first, the Mipo V4S actually felt more powerful, but then when we compare it side by side, actually the Beastboard Aurora is secretly powerful but it disguises it itself as it is very very smooth. So if you compare the Beastboard Aurora to a board like the Wago 2S Max, the Wago 2S Max have a much better build quality and polish, but at the same price as Beastboard Aurora, you're going to just get the standard wheels. You have to add extra money if you want to use this kind of wheels right here. So in terms of value, the Beastboard Aurora will provide better value, but in terms of overall quality and polish, the Wago 2S Max is far superior than the Beastboard Aurora. Now in terms of performance, I think they are both pretty much the same but I will give extra points to the Beastboard Aurora because it can hit 48 km an hour and also it has some very powerful acceleration. Now back to Mipo V4S, Mipo V4S is actually more polished than the Beastboard Aurora. It also has a better deck, the deck is very nice to step on and to ride because of the lower center of gravity. It is also using a similar wheels to the Bispo Aurora, so they're pretty much the same. But the most important difference is that Mipo V4S is still using a 10S battery, which is a lower voltage battery, while this one is using 12S. So in terms of smoothness and acceleration power, uh, Bispo Aurora actually win this one. Now in terms of trucks, uh, the Bispo Aurora is much looser, uh, felt more nicer to carve, while the Mipo V4S is like more for stability, but Bispo Aurora is pretty stable too but the only concern is that the deck is very flat so you do not feel like your feet lock in place so in terms of stability I will actually prefer this one because of the concave on the deck okay I think that wraps the conclusion so basically I'm very impressed with Bispo Aurora but they're both pretty close but the performance the for the for form Okay, that's it for today's video. If you want to have a better idea on the Beepo V4S, I actually did a video before. The Beepo V4S riding in real world scenario and I did a top speed test on it. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.